Hi, my name is Mandy and I've been doing the Course of Miracles since 2004. Um, and I think it's a good idea. Um, I feel that it's I've been led to start a YouTube channel and I'm going to start out um, by doing um, the lessons each day. Uh, this Today's January 1st. Uh, the lesson for today, nothing I see in this room, on this street, from this window, in this place, means anything. Now look slowly around you and practice applying this idea very specifically to whatever you see. This table does not mean anything. This chair does not mean anything. This hand does not mean anything. This foot does not mean anything. This pen does not mean anything. Then look far away from the immediate area and apply the idea to a wider range. That door does not mean anything. That body does not mean anything. That lamp does not mean anything. That sign does not mean anything. That shadow does not mean anything. Notice that these statements are not arranged in any order or make, make no allowance for differences in the kinds of things to which they are applied. That this purpose of... That is the purpose of the exercise. The statement should merely be applied to anything you see. As you practice the idea for the day, use it totally, indiscriminately. Do not attempt to apply it to anything you see. Apply it to anything you see, for these exercises should not become ritualistic. Only be sure that nothing you see is specifically excluded. One thing is like another as far as the application of the idea is concerned. Each of the first three lessons should not be done more than twice a day, each preferably morning and evening. Nor should they be attempted for more than a minute or so, unless that entails a sense of hurry, a comfortable sense of leisure is essential. So, let's just talk a little bit about what this means. As you go along in the Course in Miracles, um, if you start to realize um, later in the text that all the things that you see in the world that we live in, this whole illusion is not correct. It's, it's, it's an illusion, okay? And so what it's trying to induce here and, and get you feel familiar with is that everything you see around you really has no meaning. What meaning has been given to you is the meaning of the ego. The ego made up this place. Your ego, my ego, we made up this place and we gave meaning to it. And so it's trying to undo that. So um, I find myself sometimes indiscriminately even thinking, you know, I'll be going through my day and realize that this is just a dream world. And this really has no meaning. I gave this world its meaning. And then I go, oh yeah, I remember when I did that lesson, the first lesson, um, when I went around the room and went, that has no meaning, you know, that does not mean anything, that does not mean anything. And I've, I've learned, I learned um, reading Gary Renard's book, if you walk around all the time, every day, going, oh, this this world it has no meaning if you do it all the time and you're not working with the holy spirit and you're not giving it to the holy spirit and you're not in contact with the holy spirit that will cause a deep depression so what we are trying what the course is trying to do is is trying to get you um it's it's going to work you into working with the holy spirit and this is just the beginning 
So um, <clears throat> try that out. Let me know how it works. All right. Thank you. Please comment and subscribe and uh, let me know. All right. Thanks. Bye.